Lesson 20, I am determined to see. This is A Course in Miracles with a Ho'oponopono lens or perspective. We have been quite casual about our practice periods thus far. There have been virtually no attempt to direct the time for undertaking them. Minimal effort has been required and not even active cooperation and interest have been asked. This approach has been intentional and very carefully planned. We have not lost sight of the crucial importance of the reversal of your thinking. The salvation of the world depends on it. Yet you will not see if you regard yourself as being coerced and if you give in to resentment and opposition. This is our first attempt to introduce structure. Do not misconstrue it as an effort to exert force or pressure. You want salvation. You want to be happy. You want peace. You do not have them now because your mind is totally undisciplined and you cannot distinguish between joy and sorrow, pleasure and pain, pain, pleasure and pain, love and fear. You are now learning how to tell them apart and great indeed will be your reward. Your decision to see is all that vision requires. Wow, that's potent. Your decision to see. So your decision is all that vision requires. So in order to have vision, you have to decide to have it. What you want is yours. Do not mistake the little effort that is asked of you for an indication that our goal is of little worth. Can the salvation of the world be a trivial purpose? And can the world be saved if to you or not? God has one son and he is the resurrection and the life. His will is done because all power is given him in heaven and on earth. And your determination to see is vision given you. The exercises for today consist in reminding yourself throughout the day that you want to see. Today's idea also tacitly implies the recognition that you do not see now. Therefore, as you repeat the idea, you are stating that you are determined to change your present state for a better one and one you really want. Repeat today's idea slowly and positively at least twice an hour today, attempting to do so every half hour. Do not be distressed if you forget to do so, but make a real effort to remember. The extra repetition should be applied to any situation, person, or event that upsets you. You can see them differently, and you will. What you desire, you will see. Such is the real law of cause and effect as it operates in the world. I am determined to see. I am determined to see. I am determined to see. So uh, from a Ho'oponopono perspective, we know that divinity wants all the good things for us. Love, health, uh, wealth, success. So we have love. It may seem like you've been rejected or that uh, no one loves you, but you are loved. Rest assured, you are loved and you just need to see the love that is already there. So I am determined to see what is hindering us from seeing it's our old data, our data that uh, was passed down to us from generation to generation. Some of it's even in our DNA because uh, that was the data that we inherited from our parents, grandparents, so on and so forth. So as we do our clearing statements, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Or I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me. As we do our clearing statements, we are clearing out that old data 
that covers up the wealth, the success, the love, and health that is already there. I am determined to see. I am determined to see. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. And I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. And I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening wherever you're at in the world. Bye.